never give up getting inspired to achieve your dreams the story of ms arunima sinha hello friends welcome to upsc logics in today's world of cutthroat competition where we all are given the same materials to read and the same material to remember what is that makes one person different to another it is a matter of will power and determination and today I'm going to discuss the story of one such person who through sheer determination and will power achieved what most of us cannot. Please welcome Ms. Arunima Sinha, who is an amputee and who conquered Mount Everest on May 21, 2013 and was recently in the news once again. She has a story out of a Bollywood movie and perhaps some day there may be a movie about her but we do not need a movie to be inspired what we need is a real life hero who can prove to us that if they can we can so friends let us have a look at the story of ms arunima sena and get inspired to achieve our dreams and goals that we have set out our aims at let us have a look at the early life of ms sinha arunima was born in 1988 and hails from ambedkar nagar in uttar pradesh she had also qualified for the position of head constable with csif in 2012 an entire year after her accident arunima fondly known as sonu is not the first indian female amputee to conquer mount everest but also the first in the world she was a national level volleyball player who was pushed out of a running train by thieves in 2011 when she was fighting with them one of her legs had to be amputated below the knee as a result and this is where her story begins arunima who was a national level volleyball player and a football player had lot of goals and dreams to achieve in her life she was young she was on the fast track of becoming a good sports person but these goals and dreams were quashed right in their infancy she was pushed out of a general coach of a train by the thieves who wanted to snatch her gold chain and bag recounting the incident she said i resisted and they pushed me out of the train i could not move I remember seeing a train coming towards me. I tried getting up. By then the train had run over my leg. I don't remember anything after that. Immediately as she fell on the railway track, another train on the parallel track crushed her leg below the knee. She was rushed to the hospital with serious leg and pelvic injuries. and lost her leg after doctors amputated it to save her life she was offered a compensation of 25000 indian rupees by the indian sports ministry and following a national outrage the minister of state for youth affairs and sports ajay makan announced an additional 2 lakh indian rupees as compensation or medical relief together with a recommendation for a job in the cisf indian railways also offered her a job On 18th April 2011 she was brought to the All India Institute of Medical Sciences for further treatment spending 4 months at the institute she was provided with a prosthetic leg free of cost by a private Delhi based Indian company an inquiry by the police into the incident threw a version of the accident into doubt according to the police she was either attempting suicide or met with an accident while crossing the railway tracks This was an outrage. Arunima claimed that the police were lying. Contrary to the police claims, the Lucknow bench of Allahabad High Court ordered Indian Railways to pay a compensation of five lakh Indian rupees to Arunima. While still being treated at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, she resolved to climb Mount Everest. She was inspired by cricketer Yuvraj Singh, who had successfully battled cancer. she wanted to do something with her life 
She excelled in the basic mountaineering course from the Nehru Institute of Mountaineering and was encouraged by her elder brother, Om Prakash Sena, to climb Mount Everest with a prosthetic leg. She contacted Bachendri Pal, the first Indian woman to climb Mount Everest, in 2011 by telephone and signed up for a training under her at the Uttarkashi camp of the Tata Steel Adventure Foundation or TSAF in 2012. Sina climbed Island Peak 6150 meters in 2012 as a preparation for her ascent to Everest. On 1st April 2013, Sina and Suzanne Mahato, Susan Mahato, a TSAF instructor who had together climbed Mount Chamser Kangri 6622 meters in 2012 under the guidance of Bachendri Pal started their ascent to Mount Everest. After a hard toil of 17 hours, Sina reached the summit of Mount Everest at 10.55 am on 21st May 2013 as a part of the Tata Group sponsored Echo Everest expedition, becoming the first female amputee to scale Everest. She took 52 days to reach the summit. And this was a proud moment for India. Arunma did not stop at just climbing Mount Everest. Since Mount Everest, she has climbed Mount Elbrus, Mount Kilimanjaro, and Mount Kosciuszko. On December 12, 2018, the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi handed over the tricolor flag to Arunima, marking the beginning of her expedition to Mount Vinson, Antarctica, and that is why she was in the news. Arunima was awarded with Padma Shri in 2015 and Tenzing Norgay National Adventure Award in 2016 amongst various other awards and affiliations that she has won over the period of time. She is also the brand ambassador for BVG India Limited, Swachh Bharat Abhyan, Uttar Pradesh and General Thimaya National Academy of Adventure. Arnima has also written a book called Born Again on the Mountain, a story of losing everything and finding it back. She says, My courage, determination and dedication played an important role in achieving my goal. Leg is but obviously required to climb Mount Everest, but what is needed most is a brave heart. I conquered Mount Everest on 21st May 2013. By my firm determination, and strong willpower. That accident was a turning point of my life, but I didn't want to be dependent on others, so I made up my mind and decided to do something that would set an example for others, and especially who are going through the same phase. I chased my goal of conquering Mount Everest with passion. I defied all the odds and have become an inspiration for millions of such people who are physically disabled or handicapped by achieving my goal, which is unthinkable to many. So friends, this was the story of Arunima Sina, the first female amputee to conquer Mount Everest. She has been such an inspiration to so many people. And today I thought I would share this story with you all because she in herself has achieved something without the means to do a particular job. As she sh said, to climb you need legs. She didn't have a leg and yet she conquered Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world. So what is stopping us from achieving our dreams? Nothing. So let this be an inspiration. Let Arunama be a hero to us all to achieve our goals, our dreams, our visions. And thank you so much for watching and do like and subscribe to this channel if you like this video. UPSC Logics will keep on bringing inspirational stories like this to your doorsteps 
and thank you so much and have a nice day